In a previous video, I introduced you to the concept of object literals in JavaScript. In this tutorial, I want to expand on that and show you how oftentimes you'll find properties nested inside of properties and how you could access them. Let's start off with my example here of contact. Now I have a contact object literal that has first name, last name, email, phone, and age. Now if you think about a contact like in your phone book, oftentimes you could have multiple email addresses or phone numbers in there. Uh, so for example, let's say that I have one email address which we'll consider my home email address, but I could potentially also have another one that's my work email address. And same thing with phone number. I'll add another phone number here as well. And we'll say that the one is the home phone, and then the other one is the work phone. Now, while it's quite fine to have an object literal set up this way, it tends to be better syntax, and you're packaging a object literal better if you think of a kind of a broader object literal category and then give it a subcategory. Let me explain. So these two emails over here kind of have the same property and that's that they're email address. Um, and since we're not limited to just values in an object literal, we could put other arrays in there or other object literals if you think of it that way. That means that I could make one that says email and I'll start it in the same way that I start the rest of them except instead of declaring a value explicitly I'm gonna put some curly braces in there now inside of this I could add these two properties there we go Of course you have to watch out for your commas because uh, these, I guess these child properties work the same way where each one needs to be comma separated except the last one. And recall that since this is a property in itself, it also needs a semicolon, a semicolon, a comma, rather. So let me do just that. I'll do phone here, semicolon, then I'll have my braces and I will take this value just like that make sure it's comma separated and there we go so now this structure is a bit cleaner because now I have a main category that has email as part of the contact and under email I have two different kind of email addresses one that's the home email and one that's the work email now accessing this thing uh, actually these values in particular uh, follows the same format as accessing the parent um, properties except we're just going to have to add another dot so if we think about first we have document write and we say contact and right here we're accessing first name but let's actually access the email now the email has two values so this in of itself is going to probably lead to some unpredictable results but if we want to access for example the work email specifically which in my examples dragos at yahoo.com we just add another dot and we go work email so now when we preview this code in the browser we did in fact access that nested value inside of this object literal